Let me just clip you. Good boy. Dalush, Dalush, you have to be a good boy, okay? Hello everyone and happy Saturday. We just left right now house and stop at the petrol station so I thought I would make the intro here. Like I said we are going and we are on our way to Wales. The time it show us that we supposed to reach there I think around 5 p.m. So it will be probably already dark but I will, once we will reach there I don't really know what we are going to do because the weather is not really that great and this morning we woke up quite late so we just left the house right now it is just after 1 p.m. and like I said it, the journey will take us probably 4 hours but still once we will reach there what I will do we will unpack and then I would show you the room tour so you will see how does it look like around i think still you should be able to see everything around but we will see once we will get there Oh, there is gate, but you can park here. It's beautiful, don't know? Huh? <coughs> yeah. okay. So, we just finally made it to the Airbnb. It is already, I think, 6 o'clock. It is nearly 6 o'clock, so we're supposed to be here, I think, half past 4. But because we stopped on our way and then after 4 p.m. it was pitch black, we had to slow down. So it was quite challenging, but we finally found it. It's a very, very nice place. Our window is facing garden, but because it is pitch black, you're not going to be able to see nothing. So that one I will have to show you tomorrow. But let me quickly spin the camera around and show you how the room look like. So this is the main door that you walk in. On your right side, a small little bathroom. Let me turn on the light which is basically just a small little corner shower. It is very nicely done, very, very clean. And for the money that we paid, I think we end up paying like 120 pounds for two people together with the dog. So that was the bathroom. Here is our Delula. He's already inspecting everything. Uh, you need to start bringing upstairs all our luggages and stuff, Delush, Del boy. Stay here and don't sniff anywhere. Um, here is even full length mirror. And also what I checked, there is quite strong Wi-Fi, so I'm happy. I will try to post uh, yesterday's video tonight, if we're not gonna go out straight away. And then, this is the bed. So I'm really happy, um, you obviously won't be able to see nothing from outside. If I'm gonna show you, you won't be able to see nothing outside. But it's raining and it's really, really dark and windy outside. So what will probably happen, I will go downstairs quickly and help Eunice bring everything upstairs. Then on our way, we saw that there is little and also Aldi. On our way, it's like five minutes, seven minutes drive. So we will drive there because we said we are not going to be ordering no dinner tonight. We will just stay in. Eunice is really tired. I offered him that if he wants, we could swap. In the middle of the way so i would be driving here but it just wasn't possible because after that it was really dark and i wasn't comfortable to be driving in the dark so poor Eunice, he had to drive all the way here so it took us like six hours to get here it was quite a long journey but with that being said i think i will end today here and i will get back to you tomorrow morning time when we will wake up because now the only thing what we will end up doing is just quickly going to Aldi and Lidl. Del boy still needs to go out to relieve himself. So I will see you back tomorrow. <laughs> Good 
good morning and happy Sunday. We just woke up right now. It is half past seven. I'm talking really, really slowly because I feel the rooms next to us, they're not the, the walls are not really thick. So just in case someone would be still sleeping. But I have to show you everything from outside. It looks so beautiful outside. We checked the forecast for today. Yesterday it showed that it's supposed to be not raining at all. Today it's showing 50% rain during the full day. So we don't really know what we're going to end up doing. But I'm so happy we're here. Honestly, like it's so, so beautiful. And lately we've been really enjoying nature side. Instead of escaping into cities or like to a rush places, we are mostly escaping into nature and be surrounded with forests and trees and fields around us. So let me just quickly spin the camera around and show you what is the view from our window this morning. And this is the view from our window. It is again slightly raining but like I said we checked the forecast for today and it shows it should be 40 to 50 percent uh, chance of rain we don't really know we took stuff for our hiking but i don't really know if it's gonna get better during the day um so we would go somewhere for a hike but we will definitely do something we're not going to be sitting in our room but i don't it, the camera doesn't even do the justice to the fields behind the buildings and it's just so so beautiful what i think will happen right now i will quickly get ready and then breakfast starts i think in one hour so i have enough time to just get ready dress up myself uh, Eunice as well he's just in the bathroom right now and then we will take del boy go downstairs to cafeteria eat some breakfast then we will probably get back upstairs to our room and plan what we will be doing according to the weather outside and we are ready for breakfast now And this is stuff for our breakfast. And apparently we're staying here on our own. I'm going to tell people that this is the best place to come. Is it still? It's oh yeah, it is, yeah. it is. But we will wait when it will cool down, then you can give it to him. Okay. He will be your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> so we just came downstairs with Del Boy quickly before we will be leaving. And what will happen, we were speaking to the lovely Sarah. She's the owner of this Airbnb, just in case I would forget. I will be including all the information downstairs because the Airbnb is so lovely. We are actually the only people that are currently staying in. She's having, I think, two other families or three other families that are coming evening time. But until now, we are here by ourselves and they were literally waiting for us with the breakfast. They made us everything. I will include some small little snippets. But because of the weather, we were actually thinking it's not a good idea to be going to the coast side, to the seaside because it will be on and off raining so we decided uh, to go somewhere else and discover actually Somerset or this part where we are right now it's part of Well City I think it's called and she gave us like small little directions where to go and what to see and there is quite big history as well about this place so I'm really looking forward to see what we will discover during the day but for now I will quickly just grab my jacket because it is quite cold we just came with Del Boy outside just for quick pee with him I will quickly go for my jacket and then we will be on our way Oi. 
and then these are the places like I told you Sarah gave us. Um, these three places are in Wales, which we definitely want to go see. And then Eunice said that maybe we would go to um, Glastonbury, to a touristic place. I'm not too sure where it is, but the places in Wales which we want to definitely see because they are like 5-10 minutes drive from us is the uh, Wells Cathedral, Bishop Palace and then Wicker's Close and Sarah told us that these places are over I think 1000 year old that there is really rich history so these three we definitely want to see The boy? Are we going to Loge? No? We just made it to Bath. We just made a small little trip to Bath as well. This is the town centre where they have the high street, what they have here in Bath. It's very nice, but the weather wasn't that great so far. just made it back to our Airbnb. We just changed our clothes, I just redone a little bit my makeup, took a quick shower and as I said we will be spending our new year in our Airbnb. We're not gonna go anywhere out because like I said we didn't book anything and we were checking the restaurants and the live music but you had to book your place. I think they were saying like everything was booked pretty much one week before uh, new year before tonight. So we were saying we didn't book anything in advance but um, there is really nice people around this Airbnb so what we will end up doing we will have night together we return back to our room we had chat with the host with the person that this 
uh, B&B belongs to and she said there will be movie, ni movie night tonight so if we are up to it we can just spend, spend it all together there are I think two other rooms that are occupied there are different people that just arrived tonight for two nights so we will at least meet them and that will be everything what we will end up doing tonight and then probably order just some pizza or some like fast food from outside but that's pretty much it once i will start editing this vlog i will try to include as much footage as possible we went to i think two or three location here in well city it was like roughly 10 minutes drive from our airbnb and that will be the, like the historic city locations and then we made a trip to Bath because when we checked the forecast again it was showing it's not going to be raining it will be nice weather and when we finish here in city of Wales we were actually thinking we will have enough time before 4 p.m before it will get dark but when we reached to Bath it, we, we caught the worst rain and you will see shortly it was just really really bad so we end up spending it in the town center and shortly after we just returned back we just took some pictures right now around the beautiful tree and this is this is the thing that i was saying it's such a beautiful location i will like i said before i will include the address where we're staying right now so if you're planning to go somewhere for like short staycation or you don't really know where to go around england definitely check this place because it's so so beautiful and the lady that actually owns this place she really look into every single details and We've been really more than welcomed here, so I will definitely leave the location, but I li like I said, we took some pictures, you will definitely see it, but apart from that, this is everything that we will end up doing tonight. I just wanted to wish every single one of you a happy new year. I really hope you will celebrate it together with your families, with your loved ones, and I just wanted to wish you...